Hi and welcome back to the shed, or well, welcome to the shed if it's your first visit here. Um, today it's getting back onto the Lomax, it's a project that's stalled for far too long. Um, but uh, now we're back on it, I really want to get that back on the road. And there's an awful lot of work uh, ahead of me, um, much as I'd like to believe otherwise. Um, it's probably going to be well into next summer before it happens. But it all depends how fast I work and how much effort I put in, but huge ideas, um, lots of things I want to do. So time to get on to it. Today, it's all about uh, doing some welding on the chassis. Um, once that's out the way, I'll have a firm base on which to build. Um, so let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. So this is the underneath of the chassis um, and it had, although I cleaned it and uh, rubbed it down and painted it, there were a couple of areas that had some rust uh, issues and this is one of them. Um, as you can see it's actually quite perforated. Now the standard thing to do here would be to simply whack a plate over the top of it and uh, hope it goes away. But that's not really going to work so well with this because this is a 2CV chassis. Now, 2CV chassis are not maybe what you might expect. If you think chassis, I tend to think ladder chassis, big heavy steel girders, um, and with maybe a, a top cover here to keep the uh, dirt out from the inside of the ladder. But the reality is, right, here you can see there's a plate that runs across here. Um, and it's thinner again here. Might better hear that. So you've got this thin steel here, and this is probably one mil, same as the rest of the chassis. And here it's got a stiffener plate of a much thicker U-shaped um, piece of steel. But when I say U-shaped, it's only about 20 mil depth here, and this is the stiffener plate. And this stiffener plate is here because this is where the suspension bolts on. You've got these thick steel tubes that run the width of the chassis to which the suspension cylinders bolt on. And again. And in between, you've got this same one mil steel running down here. Another tube and uh, and here at the back another stiffener plate but this one's quite small it only runs from here to here just for the actual suspension mounting the rest of this it's all one mil steel all of it here we've got a nice curved stiffener gives it some strength and uh, you may it should be able to see you should be able to see down here there's a line of spot welds and there's another line of spot welds down there here at the back that line of spot welds comes across here and here at the front where the rust is you've got the same line of spot welds and what you've got inside here is there is a vertical plate between the top and the bottom with the top edge folded over about this wide and that's what this is spot welded to and the same on the other side um, and actually there's quite a few of these little 
some of them are not spot welded but there's quite a few of these little metal stiffener plates inside but they're all one mil steel it's like a cardboard box it's strong when it's all squared and folded and whatever but the actual steel itself is quite soft so the actual steel I wouldn't say it's soft but it, it's not strong and again so you just got stiffeners all over the place here where the suspension is mounting you've got these thick plates here onto this thin thin steel now so my issue with this is that this is right on the line of spot welds here which means that stiffener under here is rusty and I can see the stiffener you may not be able to see it through here um, but I can see underneath here a second piece of metal and that's the stiffener plate there's a spot weld right here and this stiffener plate comes to here um, now again under here there is another curve here which exactly mirrors the one at the other end and this stiffener plate runs into here where it all joins and where the suspension mounting so this is a really strong part of the frame um, there's a box section under here and there is a similar box section um, across well it's not actually a box section because it's the same curve runs across to here so that's all these chassis are and this is my concern if I just plate this but that stiffener under there is rotted it's going to compromise the chassis um, now I'm not the greatest welder in the world but I think I can do better than that so what I'm going to do is I need to this piece of metal here is folded over and it just secures the end edge of this so I need to cut here and probably over here I need to allow myself a bit of space because if that is rotted under there I'm gonna to have to take quite a big hole and then I'm just going to cut out a small piece here so I can see what I'm doing um, and how badly this is rusted under there if this isn't particularly badly rusted I'll see what I can do about it but we'll see that when it goes or when it happens right, so let's just here there's a spot weld and 
just here, I think. Because I can't really see them very clearly. It's going to be guesswork for drilling them out. this way it's give me some clean metal here um, so I've got to work here and what I was intended to do was to cut out this section here and then leaving some steel here it's got a little bit rust in it but to actually then put a support bracket in behind here and spot weld it through that I could then use to support the main plate as well as what seemed sort of a stitch welding it along the edge but it turns out there's already a thicker plate under here so you've got a one mil piece of steel across the top and then a slightly thicker maybe 1.2 which is actually forming this second channel so these are two pieces of steel there okay so now you can see in here there is a second piece of thin steel um, so in fact this is probably also one mil thick so you've got this piece of steel here, you can see a hole there with the other piece of steel Oop. the other side of it and which is this piece of steel here. So this is what I'm saying, this is a very, this chassis is a composite, of course now I've cut a hole through here, um, but uh, so I'll have to do something about that. But it's very much a composite of steels that give it the strength which is why I'm not convinced that plating over the top of this is the best method. This might also not be the best method, but I think reintroducing new steel into the structure is got to be stronger than just plating over the top of this outer skin and leaving the actual inner structure, which is where the strength of the chassis is, rotting away. Now, of course, I can't tell how rotted the chassis is inside there in other places but that's just one of those things we're going to have to live with so i need to uh, just fix this a little bit which is of course difficult now because uh, i won't be able to get in there and grind it and then cut a plate to fit here and uh, tack that in place and then we can tack the new plate on onto here now the new plate will be supported by this rib here so again it'll be spot welds through here uh, to hold the top plate on which will just be stitch welded along the edges i had thought about putting a supporting plate in under here um, which is a little bit difficult given all this off that's from cutting it in the first place um, it's a trouble with using a, a disc messy um, but in reality this is going to give it enough support so I'm not going to worry about it okay so next step is to uh, get this plate uh, cut and uh, tacked into place and uh, maybe run a little bit of weld down into there while I'm at it
Let's estimate where we need to be. Right, I'm making no claims for my welding being the prettiest in the world and I've uh, ground it down because the next the top plate's got to sit flush on here as I say this is so bent and dented it's not really a, uh, a perfect job um, so uh, just gonna put some weld through primer on just to try and protect this bare metal uh, ram once it's sealed in And uh, time for the next plate. Right, so plate's cut out. Maybe bent a little bit, but now it just wants to be uh, ground down to a perfect fit. Right, a little 
ones, a little more finessing, particularly shaping as yet, but what I do here is mark where this panel comes in and then just uh, sort of eyeball general shape and uh, mark in the edge panel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some holes in here and along here and then I'm going to spot weld this into place and then when it's held down securely and won't warp so much then I'm going to tack around the edges and uh, weld the edges in. Uh, spot welded and tacked so my welding is not the prettiest in the world um, but it's uh, good penetration uh, the problem is not so much penetration with this as as to stop it blowing through because it's only one mil steel um, and uh, where the chassis is a little bit old and the steel's got perhaps a little bit rusty um, and thinned down and where it's been ground uh, it's less than that so it's very very easy to blow through so I'm just now going to stitch weld uh, around the edges and uh, see if I can do it without blowing too many holes and uh, then we'll have a quick lidish back and that'll be done. Well not quite done because this flap still needs to be folded back and uh, the cuts uh, re-welded. So more welding. Okay so job done. As I say my welding is not the uh, prettiest in the world. Um, but uh, that's now secure and considerably stronger than it was before and in my view better than the plate over the top. I mean I could always put a plate over the top if it uh, came to it. If the MOT testers don't like this then I can always put a plate over the top uh, um, if that makes them happy um, and makes the chassis that little bit stronger. Um, but there we go. Okay so there's some welding done. Um, so that's a massive step forward, um, something that's been preying on my mind. Um, I'm not the world's greatest welder, as I, you might have noticed me saying in the video. Um, um, but I've got some big plans for modifying that chassis at some point, so there's a lot of welding practice ahead of me. Um, there are things I want to do to change the look of the vehicle, because um, I really don't like the Lomax as it stands. So there's a few tweaks that I want to do, and that's a big step in the right direction. Now that that's more or less done, as I say, I've got a few bits of welding just to do some spot welding where I've drilled through or old split rivets, this sort of stuff, just to neaten up the top side. Um, then a little bit of sealer, a little bit of paint, and uh, that'll be done. And I can get back on to doing the mechanics um, and getting the uh, engine book back together and doing a dry run of fitting engine and gearbox into the chassis and seeing where we stand. So thanks very much for watching, uh, much appreciated for your time.